We're very happy to continue our knowledge sharing mission through this series of chats with marketing leaders from all over the world. And we couldn't be more excited to have Ben with us today from Shakespeare Martineau, how you ended up becoming the chief marketing and people officer of Shakespeare Martineau. So Shakespeare Martineau is a legal firm. So we're actually part of a professional services group. Within that group, we've got legal teams, we've got debt recovery teams, we've got town planning teams, but the core of the business is very much a legal advice for life and business. I joined the firm 18 months ago, originally as marketing director my first foray into the world of law and pure professional services my background has been digital data tech and financial services so it was a bit of a switch for me coming into the legal industry but a really fascinating one to come in and really start to understand the client demographic both from a consumer and from a business point of view but then also to understand the product set so what do those clients need how do we serve them and actually to start to see in a professional services business that actually your product is your people so to actually come into an industry where you're selling people's time was quite a fascinating move and actually when I started we kicked off a big strategic review for the entire firm which then really lays it in on what was our purpose as an organization that purpose piece was then really clearly around unlocking potential of our people so that they can do it for our clients and that's how my role then evolved to become both chief marketing and people officer what's one career advice you've received as a marketing leader that's been particularly valuable to you don't just fall into the promotion trap so you go back to the kind of old four p's of marketing marketing has in many organizations fallen into this trap it's all about pains it's all about creative it's rather than kind of coming all the way back to strategy and marketing is absolutely rooted in business strategy who are your clients what do they need how do you service those needs and it filters out across your entire service proposition best advice i ever got was focus on the strategy be involved in the strategy be at the table around the strategy because that's how you influence business change marketing is there to help grow organizations make them sustainable for the future and make sure that they're delivering for their clients you can't do that if you're just focusing on pretty campaigns that are going out the door there's absolutely a place for beautiful art, beautiful copy, beautiful campaigns, but they have to be grounded in insight, knowledge of your customer and true strategy, business strategy. Last year was tough for anything event related. As a result, did you feel you've had fewer opportunities to market your product? Actually, we were not a disadvantage at all. It was a brilliant opportunity for us to truly pivot and digitally transform. As a firm, it was really interesting for me coming into the industry. And it's not just us as a business, the actual industry is very far behind in terms of its adoption of digital channel, understanding client demographic. So it's really interesting to be able to use it as a catapult opportunity for plans that I'd already put in place in a roadmap to say, bring all of this forward. So we went from, as of start of March last year, having never run a virtual event in this organization to over a hundred, a real variety from client entertainment events to webinars, to round tables, culminating in a massive internal event that we launched for the whole business for like a thousand people at the end of the year last year. So actually for us, it was a real opportunity to embrace this change and say, what can we do differently? And very much being purpose-led around how do we help our people and how do we help our clients? We use it as an opportunity to say, right, what can we give away for free? How do we help people? How do we advise people when they're going through so much turmoil? How do we kind of be what is truly at the heart of our organization is to be a trusted advisor and be on the side of people in life and business. How do we ensure that we truly do that? And so that is about giving out hints, tips, guidance, help, making sure that we are on top of the news agenda. We were there to give that support and advice to our clients. We set up Zoom surgery, helpline for advice for clients with a view of just want to help and we just to want to do the right thing. What does the future of events landscape look like? Are virtual events here to stay? Absolutely virtual events are here to stay. And I think there's so many different reasons for that. The reach that people can get, the access to information that people want, the lack of commitment that you have to make for traveling to physical events. And I think they will evolve. And I think the challenge with the virtual events is how do you make them stand out and be relevant? Because anyone can pop up a webinar in five minutes. How do you make sure the content is rich? How do you make sure the execution of it stands out? And how do you put the extra pieces around it that you would in a live event to make it really memorable. For me, events, it's your brand experience of that organization in its truest form. So you want that to truly reflect who you are as a business. And that has to be about quality and that has to be about substance. The future of events landscapes, people are absolutely desperate. It doesn't matter who I talk to, whatever clients, whatever people across our organization, they are desperate to get in back in a room with people. So the more traditional face-to-face -face events absolutely will come back and will come back with a huge amount of vigor. I do think they'll be different though. And I do think there'll be a lot more 
technological integration into those live events as there should be. What are you most excited about for 2021? And is there anything interesting you have already planned for your company? What I'm really excited about for the industry and for us as an organization is what comes next, because we very much had this mantra in the organization of we transformed in two weeks. We moved from an office based, a very traditional in two weeks time, entire workforce working from home, seamless transition, no drops in service levels or client delivery. So our new mantra is what can you do in two weeks? So if someone's got a great idea, how do you push that forward? How do you test it? How do you trial it? Learn from it and move forward really quickly. It should be a pretty exciting year ahead. I think there's still a few dips and roadblocks that I think we've got ahead of us. There's no B2B, there's no B2C. It's all human to human. I think through last year and people really started to resonate, I think we'll start to see a real shift across the entire marketing landscape for people really thinking about people, whether it be in life or business. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Ben, and I'm looking forward to the next catch up. Thank you for having me.